So, uh, good morning. It's a morning for all. Still uh, messy and, you know, a lot of hectic work. But uh, thank you all. So, I am Snigda. I'm founder of Moody. And before I start this workshop, I will give you a brief picture about me and Moody that I may have a workshop on baby at Moody. So, um, before, as a founder of Moogly, I'm a mother of two kids. And uh, before that, I've been in the legal profession for... Uh, my voice is not audible? Uh, it is on my side. Uh, uh, can, uh, you, uh, can you hold the microphone a little bit closer? Okay. Actually, I'm on my laptop, so... Or, or else, yeah, if you have... audible, is there a noise? Because I'm actually in a closed room with just the fan on. <laughs> so maybe you can reduce the volume of the fan a little bit. Yeah, Speed up yeah I'll just do that. Yeah, yeah. Give me a second. Yeah. So is my... Uh, voice audible now yeah, without yeah. any disturbances. Yeah, it's much better. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. So yeah, like I said that uh, uh, before uh, a founder of Moogly, I'm a mother of two kids and I've been into legal profession prior to all of this. And uh, baby led weaning holds very dear to me for a fact that when I started weaning journey for my elder one, that is in the year 2018, I would say. From day one, what we, uh, you know, uh, followed was uh, is baby led weaning, which is continuing till now for my one and a half year old too. Now, just to give you a brief about what Moogly is, Moogly is basically a brand where we are crafting meals, uh, you know, for kids, which is uh, with no uh, hidden preservatives or additives. It is nutritious and easy to cook, which is for busy mothers on days like when we really want to you know, uh, have some, uh, say, relaxation and don't want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen. So that is very brief about Moogly. More, I think, we'll share it on the forum when the time is right. So let's start with our presentation. Let me start with what is baby led weaning because I want to hear more questions rather than being presenting throughout the time. So I won't waste much time. I'll just share my screen. Uh yeah and meanwhile uh, guys who are joining this workshop series of ipf for the first time this is priya i'm the founder of india parenting forum and we regularly ho uh, hold such free workshops you know for all the parents um, with respect to q a so we'll have a very quick 15 minute presentation by snigda and uh, q a will be uh, we'll have it post the presentation right so please make sure that you are writing all the questions in the chat box Right. We won't have an audio Q&A. We'll have like a uh, only questions which are shared on the chat. We'll address those questions. Right. So please make sure that you are writing your questions at the chat and we'll address them later. Thank you. Yeah. So can I start? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, well, baby led weaning. Uh, let me say that it is one of the best way you can introduce your baby to the to this wonderful world of food. What is it? What is baby led weaning? Well, it is an approach where infants are allowed and encouraged to self feed solid finger food instead of receiving purees via spoon. What does it do? It promotes exploration and enjoyment of foods and textures. And it also supports in development of healthy eating habits. Now, why do we choose baby led weaning? We all have this question why? Why do we want to do this? Why do we want things to be messy? And at six months old, why should you know, how will a six month old be able to pick up and eat or chew food? Well, the first point itself is honors baby inborn ability to self feeding. It might be a surprise. It is a surprise to a lot of parents I encounter also when they say, oh, how come a six month old is picking up and chewing? But they inherently know how to chew food without teeth. And how much they need also they know it. So by doing this, you're really going to help them uh, to become independent. Promotes family meals, definitely, because they are going to eat from what you are Hello? Yeah, is somebody asking something? Uh, no, no. 
uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, there's no, no, no. There's just some audio issue. Uh, okay. Because off. I'm not able to see the main screen as of now because I'm uh, seeing my. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just you, you can uh, continue with your presentation. We'll have all the questions in the end. Yeah. Okay. So it prevents picky eating. Well, uh, it prevents picky eating. I would say it's a uh, long process, but since we are providing more uh, variety to kids and we are able to give them more varieties as per what the whole family eats, eventually in a long run, you prevent that because your child gets used to the family food. It is easy. Yes, it is easy because you don't have to cook anything separately for the child. And self-paced eating is something which a child learns by himself when you are letting the baby lead his own food and his own hunger rather than you leading it for them. Cheaper, yes, it is cheaper because you don't have to invest, uh, you know, by uh, having another pantry for, uh, you know, which is only child specific as your family pantry can work. Skill development, definitely they, you know, uh, it really helps in developing their motor skills, hand-eye coordination, social skill. And the best thing is food is one of the best texture what you can introduce your kids to. Be it, you know, making them feel uh, the vegetables to making them feel a different kind of fruit and, you know, providing them with different kind of fruits to eat or vegetables to eat. They experience textures and uh, with their hands when they pick it up to eat or even when they are playing, it is all a part of their overall development and growth. <coughs> so let me first uh, talk about what is the difference between baby led and traditional weaning. Well, I think by now we fairly know what it is, but I'll just break it down. I, I can tell you the good parts of traditional weaning also. It is up to definitely a parent's choice what they want to follow. So traditional weaning, of course, you start with puries, then you progress to mashed food, then you go to finger food, and then you go to family meals. So the time, uh, till the time your kid reaches for family meals, it varies from anywhere between nine months to one year. That is if you're starting from six months. So by one and a half years or something, the kid will reach up to family meals. And uh, of course, in uh, traditional weaning, there is a spoon feeding. So you know how much your child has eaten and what have you fed your child. It creates lesser mess. Definitely, it creates a less, lesser mess because you are the one who is leading it. And you are able to track food allergies because you know what you have given and how much have you given. And uh, But in this scenario, what happens is that you are not aware when your child is full. Because the quantity is not uh, decided by you as a parent, but uh, is not decided by the child, but it is decided by you as a pa parent. So if you think that one chapati should be good for my child, even if your child is uh, done in half a chapati, you're not aware of it. And you will keep feeding. And that is when the whole uh, circle or cycle of distraction feeding to force feeding comes into picture. It is time consuming. Yes, it is time consuming because you have to give that extra time of sitting separately with the child and feeding and also preparing separate meals for your child every time. Baby led weaning is something which is simpler. You are encouraging self feeding. So even, you know, you can on a baby chair, your child is sitting, you can offer food, appropriate shape and size food, which is offered and they pick up and they eat themselves. And they eat from the same pot as you. So uh, whatever is being cooked at home, it can be given to them. And yes, but you have to keep in mind the appropriate spices. So if there is no salt, what you can do is that you can take out a small portion without salt for your child and then add salt for the whole family. And same with other spices. Uh, other spices, I'm, I mean majorly chilies, red chili or green chili. So encourage fine motor skill development, definitely. And baby is the one who is charge of his or hunger. So it can be a possibility your child might be eating three to four bites or even five to six bites and might be done. And there will be a day where uh, the child will eat one whole chapati too. But that is the child who's going to decide on which day how much he is hungry and how much he would want to have. Now, when to start baby led weaning? What are the signs of readiness? So baby led weaning can be started as early as six months of age. 
and if it is a premature baby one should be calculating the adjusted age and the main important factor for baby led weaning is when baby is able to sit upright with little to no support for the duration of meal baby can pick up and bring objects to their mouth with ease baby shows interest in food baby this is very important the baby has lost his or her tongue thrust reflex now what is this reflex it is an involuntary reflex that pushes food and foreign object out of an infant's mouth to prevent choking this reflex reflex typically disappears by itself within 4 to 6 months of age a baby who still has this reflex will not be able to keep the solid foods in mouth so this is very important because before we start this journey this is something what we should be aware of and how do we check this reflex place your finger on baby's bottom lip if they attempt to suck your finger then it's safe to say that the extrusion uh, reflex has disappeared well this is broad guidelines for when to start it and many of the major health organization like who and other health organization they they advise to wait till 6 months even our peds do to introduce solid foods for the same reason but at any circumstances you feel that you have to start early feeding or even uh, anything of that sort it it is best to be consulted with your ped and whatever is being recommended in that age that should be followed now when you start the weaning journey the question comes okay how much should i be feeding milk to my kid you know if it, the kid is on breast milk or formula milk so well um, from age group of 6 uh, 6 months to 1 year milk milk is the major primary source of nutrition for kids so milk will come first so you have to keep milk feed first which will help ensure that breast milk and formula remains primary source solids are complementary at this age from 6 months to 1 year solids are complementary to your breast milk or formula feed so and if you have and whenever you give them milk that has to be given 30 minutes prior to giving them their food okay again it's the same uh, world health organization and other health bodies recommend that babies are fed entirely on breast milk for their first 6 months of life and continue having their mother's milk alongside other foods known as complementary foods until the age of 2 so they are saying until the age of 2 but uh, i think the safer is up to 1 one, one and a half years for sure what are the first foods uh, in for uh, baby led weaning which these are standard uh, food what i'm going to tell you but i will also give you some tips for indian household cooking and indian household food because that's how that is what i give my kids to so soft fruits such as ripe bananas avocado peaches any soft food actually you can think uh, whatever soft food comes to your mind can be given uh, which does not have seeds cooked vegetables so like steamed roasted carrot sweet potato sweet potatoes is one of the best first food what you can give, give it to your child zucchinis if you prefer having you know say these kind of um, vegetables protein sources well you can give uh, well cooked and shredded chicken tofu scrambled eggs yes you can start <coughs> from the beginning also so it's a uh, it all depends upon giving a balanced and varied diet and you have to avoid high risk foods of which is like honey nuts and shellfish initially nuts also i think you can start you can give nuts say from the age of say 7 months when you have started weaning your kid you offer variety of food and when you see that you don't see a potential harm then i think you can introduce nuts slowly and steadily by giving uh, them in a paste form or in a powder form there is no harm in it but it needs to be if you're giving it in a powdered form then it needs to be cooked if you're giving them in a paste form first you need to soak it and then make it a paste and you need to be vigilant about allergies and introduce one new food at a time so in a day you cannot give more than a more than one new food so say today you have decided to give egg then please stick to egg only don't give any other new food on that particular day now this is a very important thing what we as new parents should know about gagging and choking 
because gagging at times lot of people confuse that it is choking but it is not and gagging is something what a kid himself or herself can manage and they don't need any interference from an adult so in gagging it is going to be loud you will hear you know the kids uh, coughing and wheezing loudly and will be turning completely red so in this process they themselves are going to throw the food out of their tongue and they will uh, you know they don't need our interference we might you know feel like that we need to interfere we might put our hand in their mouth to take the food out that might lead to choking so it's better that we let the kid do it and from personal experience i can tell you that i have seen my kids specifically during you know 6 to 7 months time when you are uh, offering them variety of food they don't know how that food will be in the mouth and how much they need to you know chew so they have done that but they uh, have themselves taken out the food and if i have offered them more food they have take, they have taken it back and they have eaten it also because this is just a process and they do feel fine but choking is definitely something which we need to be very vigilant about and that needs our intervention so in choking you will see that they will because it blocks the airways you will not be able to hear them coughing or even wheezing and you will see that they are turning blue so that means that immediately you should make you think and uh, for an intervention and how to help them now what are the challenges for uh, baby led weaning baby led weaning one of the major challenge what you will all face which we have been through this is messiness so we need to learn to embrace this messiness you know you can expect lot of spills crumbs all around on their face on their you know clothes everything so i would suggest that uh, or it is easy that you have easy to clean mats and bibs and utensils for the kids so that you can allow them to be messy but being messy is a part of them learning about food and you need to and um, uh, another important point uh, point about embracing messiness is that when you are following baby led weaning and you go out say for a family dinner to a restaurant and you should let the kid enjoy the food there by themselves and when they make a mess there you need to embrace that rather than feeling embarrassed trust me that will really help you in long run i have done that and been there and there are people who are very supportive of it so yeah this is very important embracing of messiness how do we handle picky faces yes in uh, baby led weaning you will find a lot of picky faces where the kid is not in the mood to eat food what you are giving him say you are giving him today a chila and he does not want to eat a chila now what what do we do uh, how can we help him have food you think he is hungry but you don't know what to do well you offer chila in a different way you offer chila with a chutney probably he might like the chutney might eat it with it or you make a shape out of it and then give him might find it interesting to have it you know that's how you do it and if you see that the kid is rejecting a particular food item again and again then give it a break don't offer it offer him after say you know two weeks or three weeks time over other foods meanwhile so that's how you manage picky eating phases and over a period of time you will overcome that too integrate to family pot yes if you uh, if you integrate your uh, to your family pot as early as possible even if in 6 months it is one of the best things because you all as a family can sit and uh, sit together and eat like as a tip i can give you that at times you don't find the whole family sitting together and having food but what i did with my kid was that uh, my times and my kid's food time was too much breakfast he, uh, my my kid sits and i sit with her or him when he was younger at that time and we used to have a food together so what it uh, it what happened with that the kid used to show interest sometimes in the meals what i am eating and uh, would like to eat that so if sometimes i am making a food which is say i don't want to eat a regular chila i want to eat something else like a bread because i don't offer kids uh, bread early i think at least till 2 years there are no breads for my child for my kids so they would like to have that what i am eating so anything different they will show interest in that so that again increases their you know curiosity for other food and also yeah, takes care of giving them more variety
and definitely socialization they understand the need to sit on a table and a chair to eat food which is good for the long run now in baby led weaning what is very important is that we follow responsive feeding i'm going to take up responsive feeding as a separate uh, slide itself but uh, you know in a responsive feeding one has to really know uh what is it uh, you need to listen to your baby Th that is very important baby signal when they are hungry and full respond promptly rather than sticking to a strict feeding schedule so yes you uh, i mean as per you if 8:30 am is the breakfast time fine you can offer your child breakfast at that time but there can be a time where your uh, child might be eating at 8:30 there can be a time when your child will be like not interested eating at 8:30 so you got to be uh flexible there you got to wait for your child to get hungry rather than forcing the child to eat food because that would lead to tantrums that to lead to a lot of cry or them rejecting food or completely recognizing hunger and fullness well this is a very important part because i know a lot of uh, parents do come and ask that how do we know that they are hungry or how do we know that they are full it is very easy to know that when they are hungry uh they will be sucking on their hands they will be alert expressions so like i can give you an example in my uh, daughter's case when she is very hungry i see that she is running here and there disoriented she doesn't know what she wants and she'll be crying for small small things and that is when you know that last when i had given her food and till now there has been a time and looks like that she is hungry then i lead her i ask her are you hungry do you want to eat and uh, you know i will uh, when she was younger i used to you know just take my hand and uh, pretend as if i'm feeding her and she used to open her mouth to eat so that used to be my cue that she is hungry and i used to offer her food at that time and uh, yeah it has helped it has helped to that extent that now when she is one and a half years she is understood to let us know about her hunger she comes and tells us that she is hungry and if she is not she comes and tells us no if i ask about food <coughs> fullness how do you know they are full uh they are full so you would know they will start turning their head away if you are the one who is feeding them or they'll close their mouth they'll not eat or they'll take the longest time they'll you know they'll they'll put the uh, food in their mouth and they'll not chew and they'll be looking here and there or you know they'll start throwing food like in my daughter's case she start washing her hands only with the food you know so all these are the cues where you know that they they are done and it's time that you you know remove them from their uh, booster chair or bay high chair and wash them up and let them play so yeah and benefits what are the benefits of uh, responsive feeding it is trust building your child can trust you that you are listening to your child you are uh, you know giving attention to what your child needs rather than what you want the child to do so that is a very important factor it helps even in the overall development of your child healthy growth yes healthy growth there is no overfeeding um there is no overfeeding so that m m makes them you know like food rather than dislike food because if you overfeed them or when they're not interested you keep feeding you know they start having a disliking towards food so that is something which we avoid in this what are tips for success as same like i've given you some examples observe and learn your baby's unique cues for hunger and satisfaction distraction free zone this is a very important factor when you start your weaning journey never never give in the temptation of distracting them and making them eat so no tv no toys and not even letting them run around and you feeding them because you i right now for your weaning you will be doing all this and then you will be wondering how to wean my child off all these distraction if from the very beginning from the day one you start uh, building this habit of them sitting on a chair on a high chair or sitting in a certain position and eating their food that will help in the long run because you can once when they start understanding things you can tell them this is the rule of the house this is how we all eat and this is how you're supposed to eat anything you want to do you can do after eating and uh, this has really worked me uh, because uh, i have practiced it for my son who is now 5 years old and i'm doing it for my younger one too and trust me i mean i've never ran behind them 
and even when we go out to a restaurant i have never felt the issue that i have to feed them first and then i i can eat my food because it's all we all sit together on a table their food is given to them they eat by themselves how much ever they need and i get to talk or eat with others of course i need to keep a close eye on how and um, what are they eating they're not eating something which is not uh, for them patience and flexibility yes in your vegan vegan journey this is a most important factor you have to be patient you can't be losing your patience thinking ki okay he's not eating today she's not eating today or you know how do i do it and all of those things because kids will have those spurts they will have this uh, those spurts that three uh, four days they will be eating really well and fifth day they'll be like rejecting everything it's okay you just need to be patient you need to just offer time to time and whenever they are hungry they will eat i really believe this thing that no kid will remain hungry they will come to you for food but you have to give them that opportunity to come to you for so thank you everyone so this is what my just about uh, baby led vini is and i'm open to questions and answers from you all and if you have more queries if i'm not able to answer all the queries today then you can give us a mail and we will respond to that yeah yeah um, awesome so, thank you so much nikda this was super super insightful uh, especially your personal tidbits right the personal tips that you shared the uh, blw comes completely personal to me because uh, i know i have had various questions from my own family to friends everybody that uh, why are you doing this and we have never seen kids like this that is how it's supposed to be you run behind them and feed them mm. i said no, nothing doing i am not going to do this i this is what they need to learn and it has really helped me because i see my son goes to a school now and he is eating his food i not even a single day you know there is uh, you know people coming and saying that he's not eating food and things like that because i know i know parents who are still struggling at the age of 5 6 say that my child is not eating i have to feed and he's not eating in school and with increased time in school one has to really focus on that it's a one one and a half two years it's definitely a lot of patience which is required and a lot of irritation also happens that means i won't say that it will not happen because you are a worked up mother also there is a lot of things to do but yes the patients with the patients you will be able you will see the fruits of it yeah hopefully these uh, this gives lifelong habits yeah 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 they do uh, like my son can eat only vegetable sandwich or only vegetable wow pizza. because since he has been a kid that is what has been introduced to him so now when he goes out also he says okay i want vegetable pizza i want vegetable sandwich so that's how it is great great uh sigda now i would request you to open the chat uh right yeah. on hangouts and parents have posted questions over there the first <coughs> question we can start off with tejaswini you you can you can read and yeah respond to it yeah i'm just seeing tejaswini i can see actually vishnu priya's message first so uh, no let we go uh, let, let's start with the first one right uh yeah yeah timings for breastfeed uh, breakfast lunch dinner how many hours before nap or sleep well uh, see when you start with baby led weaning or any weaning what i have followed the principle is that uh, during 6 months time one meal then i graduated to one meal and one snack then i graduated to uh, two meals and one snack and then i graduated to two meals two snacks and then i went to three meals and three snacks so uh, what happens when you're starting at the very 6 month i what i picked up a time for me what i felt is the best time for the child is around 11 11:30 because um, or even 12 o'clock depending on when i think that now my child is really hungry and let me give a uh, start with the solid so that used to be my time for one meal and then eventually say after two weeks or three weeks i realized that okay my child is interested in eating more food uh, so that's when i started with two and with two i would mean that uh, 
uh, and very important factor uh, what i started with uh, that meals would be first i started introducing them with grains and vegetables fruits were the last in my category because i did not wanted to introduce anything sweet to them at an early stage because i wanted them to have taste of other things first because otherwise kids generally when you're not adding salt to their food they generally would tend to prefer sweeter foods over other so yeah i started with grains and things and then i eventually graduated to fruits timings definitely uh, tejas vini i would say depends what are your timings for food if your baby gets up at 6:30 say in the morning then around 7:30 you can give a uh, fruit to them and then you can choose a 9 9:30 for your for the breakfast or whatever time actually uh, you you will figure it out yourself looking at, if you start seeing the cues of your kids because none of the timings will ever fit in for the child if so i give breakfast at 8:30 then i around 11 o'clock 11:30 i give a fruit to my child around 2 o'clock my child has her lunch and this is i'm talking about a uh, one and a half year old her lunch around 2 o'clock and then uh, around 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock there are days when she does feel like eating something we offer another fruit or a snack what we make at home and then around 7:38 she has a uh, her dinner and that's about it and then she goes off to sleep so this is her routine Dep- and there are some kids whom i know that they get up really early so for them in the routine happens is that first thing they have is a fruit <coughs> and then later they will have their uh, uh, breakfast then they take their nap and then they once they get up from their nap they will have lunch and then another fruit or a snack and then dinner depending on uh, their sleep cycle time after nap generally what i have seen a lot of kids in within 15 20 minutes or 25 minutes they are hungry so they generally take their food by that time until unless they are going through some spurt or some other reason they might not be uh, you know eager to have food otherwise generally before nap i would say if they are really hungry then you can offer a fruit but don't offer full meal that depending what is the nap time if if your kid is napping at 4 o'clock then definitely he is going to have lunch but if your na- uh, kid is napping before say 2 o'clock then def- uh, a snack would do so it just depends on the time uh khyati uh, you are starting solid at 6 months I, you continue with, with breastfeed actually don't introduce formula now because uh, formula anyways needs to be weaned by one year and uh, i don't see a reason for you to introduce formula at this stage if you would have introduced formula way earlier then you could have continued but introducing any other new thing i don't think so make sense and uh, and why do you want to do it also that depends because uh, if uh, you continue breastfeeding if you are stay at home mom you can continue breastfeeding on demand even if you're not stay at, ho- at home i think it then also it's okay the kai uh, you will supplement with uh, food and whenever you are home you can feed so i don't think so that's um, that is an issue booster or high chair required for baby led weaning well booster or high chair requirement is not something i mean it's uh, depending on parent to parent but it really helps i would say because a booster chair can get attached to your dining table so when you all are sitting the baby can sit on his chair independently and can be independent and in eating otherwise you have to sit with the baby on your lap till the time you know they're able to sit properly on floor by themselves <coughs> so that's the advantage otherwise i mean it's okay it just depends how what you're comfortable with when to start solids after completing 6 months no when the child when your child is 6 months you can start and uh, like i said the uh, you will get to know their readiness if they are showing interest in the food and they are able to sit through for a whole meal you know with little to no support so uh, yeah just keep in mind those uh, you know factors whether they are ready or not and trust me you will get to know when your child is ready for food they i have seen in both my kids and uh, i could say that okay now they are ready i have to start solid if i am going to take any more longer they will not be happy so they will show you that 
स्निग्धा आई थिंक यू मिस्ड दीक्षा क्वेश्चन दीक्षा साइजेस टू इंट्रोड्यूस ओके uh diksha sizes is uh, you know anything bigger chunks something which is uh, chewable and which will not get choked or a finger size just like this finger size do you see where they can pick up and they can chew so that is the size what you will or small or this this much bites which is easy to grasp for them specifically during 6 months time where they can pick up and they can put it in their mouth so that is the size and yes uh, in indian food i would also say if you are introducing them with uh, dal rice you can introduce as early as 6 months also it's just that you will make small balls of dal rice or sambar rice whatever it is and give it to them so that they are able to pick it up and put it in their mouth after starting solids which is the ideal number of feedings baby should take uh feedings uh, i'm assuming you mean breast feed and formula feed so uh, till uh, till about at least one year or one and a half years what is suggested and what i also follow is on demand uh, my child is having say two snacks and three uh, meals complete but still i uh, feed her on demand oh uh, sorry sunda you missed vishnu priya's question also yeah. in between okay. yeah wait sorry uh vishnu priya yes you need to wait you will see that happening for you uh, soon and uh, yeah i think you can give it a wait and you can also check with your feed on this but uh, what i know if she is able to sit with some little support with you from you then you can uh, you know start with the food journey and if she is not able to do that then you can check with your feet because in such conditions then you know uh, giving finger food becomes a difficulty so that's when uh, you know furies will come into picture but that can be checked with your feet uh, but i think give it a time she will be able to uh, do that soon if she is not doing then she probably is not ready yet for solids gazal has raised her hand i will come to gazal uh, Vishnu oh. Priya, Pooja yeah. have answered right. Yeah, hi Gazal. Uh, hi. Uh, uh, actually, uh, my two year, twenty three months he is right now, and since about one and half month or two months now, he is uh, he was uh, from six months. I mean, uh, from the start, I have uh, gave gave him um, baby led baby. like uh, from the start the finger food and all that i have started but mm-hmm. now since uh, two months it's going to happen uh, what has happened that he is uh, not eating by himself he doesn't want to sit on the high chair he doesn't want to eat by himself only i am running around and feeding <coughs> and if i don't do that if i uh, sometimes i leave chalo uh, i have to do it i have to leave and make him eat by himself but what happens that he becomes cranky and uh, he uh, after some time when he is hungry he doesn't tell that he is hungry he doesn't want to eat he's just cranky and cries and that happens so what yeah uh, so gazal uh, i completely understand because i also have this uh, 20 months old running around like this and there are time when she is not ready one or two days i adhere to it ki chalo khila do but what i do mostly that there is uh, you know he is cranky because he is hungry right so first thing you start is put uh, put him on the chest and give him feed, uh, you know uh, give him food what happens is when they cranky they don't open their mouth but yeah at that is the time you just try to put in some food in their mouth and they accept it or what i do at times that i kind of let them be but then eventually they come and they have food i have seen it in my kids case because once they know that yeah my mother is ready to run behind him and to feed me so for them it becomes a habit then for them to sit back on the chair and eat food will be a difficulty because they want to do that anyway so you don't have to give that uh, as an ample opportunity for them you need every time whenever he is hungry first you have to make him sit on the chair even if he's having four to five bites let yeah. let him have it on the chair rather than you giving in and running behind him 
just if i if i uh, sorry i'm really it. sorry for cutting in but we uh, snigda we do not take one on one audio questions okay. right all the questions okay. need to be on chat and we so have like 10 questions write, right now right yes snigda uh, yeah gazal you can continue your question in the chat itself right we can continue okay, okay. thank you Uh, I have answered uh, high chair. Yeah, yeah. You uh, were at Ulsa. Ideal number of feedings on demand. I have answered. ठीक है. Food chart. Well, uh, you will find ample food chart. But if you are introducing baby led weaning and family pot, then what you are eating is good enough for your child. It just it has to be the appropriate shape and size, and also texture for their age. That should be good enough. when to introduce ragi oats rice and similar food items with introduce family pot you can introduce right from the beginning if you're not on family pot then you gradually go ragi oats rice one one day but family pots from the day one you can do that i have done it from day one so it is all right anything is all right you can start a baby led weaning after one year might take you longer to you know for for your kid to understand that now he has to start or you can start slowly and steadily start giving finger foods at times where he is picking it up himself it is okay there is nothing wrong in this too can we give dates i would say avoid till one year after that yes you can how long to keep the food on table if the baby is slow eater well uh, if, if baby you are the one feeding him or the baby is eating himself that is a question and uh, is he a really a slow eater or is he actually uh, not that something which you really need to figure out but at max i have uh, 15 20 minutes then it's like okay i think you are done we'll uh, have food again if you are hungry again so that should be followed My baby is five months. Start solid after one month. When she turns six months, she is showing interest and also tries to snatch. I think perfect. She is ready. She is getting ready for her weaning journey. Yes, you can start your it on sippy cup. Op uh, open cup also with an assistant and a sippy cup. Actually, open cup I would suggest those three sixty cup. They really work because there is no spillage. And then eventually you can start giving the glass also. Now, like what are the essentials for baby led weaning? Baby led weaning essentials are just simple, uh, just uh, soft food when you're starting. Any something which they can hold and they can put it in their mouth, and let your baby decide the quantity. You should not be deciding the quantity. That is what is baby led weaning is all about. Even two bites, the baby is done, then he or she is done. You don't have to force it on them. My baby is 20 month old and he's eating only white rice and rejecting mixed with curries. Can you suggest how to improve? Oh, uh, well, I think why don't you introduce curries separately first to baby? Probably not liking the taste of rice along with something else. Give it with a spoon or something, and uh, you know introduce it separately and then try to mix it and give, or probably more curry and then lesser rice. I think you need to work on. Uh, work on it uh, give it in a different way and then introduce them together that should help okay yes you can follow blw for your second one there is no problem at all your daughter is 12 months old she refuses water all the time well uh, first i want to understand is she still on breastfeed or formula feed if she is still on breastfeed and formula feed then she is actually completing her water requirement through that okay so then even if she is not having water it's okay and also what is her pee count if her pee count is fine then somewhere she is actually fulfilling her water requirement and yeah so i think give her in uh, different kind of cups or say you know bottles which makes her feel excited about having it probably that can help you okay yeah this is this is very common kids uh, becoming picky eating 
well uh, in this case i think try uh, making um, try making variety of food probably they might be bored with the same kind of food so give them variety a, a different taste make some uh, you know say uh, different shapes of food so probably she might like it again because that's how it has to be okay uh, i think uh, now i need to take this one right why does high chair this is the question ha huh. why does high chair is important for baby led weaning this is to uh, i think I, i had taken up this question earlier also uh, I, it is important in a way that you are uh, you know the independence start at an early stage to be very honest if the child is sitting on his own chair to eat his own food by himself that makes him even more independent otherwise you have to make the child sit on your lap and uh, you know initially if you start child sitting uh, unguarded you know he might be running up here and there which would lead you guys to run around him and to feed him so in that way it is important otherwise it is it's okay even if you are comfortable baby sitting on your lap and feeding by himself and you feeding yourself then also it is okay it's just definitely up to one's own uh, thing but i would say it is helpful you go to a restaurant there is a high chair if your baby is used to a high chair you can make the baby sit in a high chair and you can eat your food and he can eat his food or her food so yeah it is important for creating that independence in the child um ha uh, gazal yes i understand that it does happen but uh, you have to i don't know what kind of vegetables are you giving and in which form are you giving why don't you uh, like i said that try to change it a bit uh you know in some way where the kid is liking the taste of that vegetable and right? there for the kids to start liking vegetables and eating them it's a long process it does happen because the textures of every vegetable changes and at times they don't like this that texture so at times my uh, child will not eat uh, say you know ghee or a tori because the texture of uh, ghee and tori is way different so even at one one and a half years they find it difficult to have it but at times you know what i do is i i you know mash it along with their rice dal rice and they eat it happily so you got to just find a way how to deal with that because it is a very tricky thing or you can add in parathas and things like that you know at time, that is what i do i you know um, uh, i find chop or i you know really um, make parathas out of lot of veggies so that way i take care of it and slowly and steadily you keep introducing one day i'm sure the kid will like it it's a phase they'll get over it but your our job is to keep giving them in a different way that they are able to take it uh, can uh, i can i speak here if allowed uh ma'am sorry we have like two three more questions and we are just ending our workshop you can continue you can put here gazal you can put it here i'll take it up from here actually i don't know how to write <laughs> this thing oh. so let me finish so, all these questions then maybe in the end yeah we can take one on one okay okay sure sure no problem how much water should be given to 6 months baby well uh, if your baby is on uh, breast milk or formula feed then I, in 6 months water is not the requirement because you are already fulfilling the water needs and even if you have to give in 6 months time i think very little just a sip or two is that that is all because the tummies actually are very small at that time you can't give them a lot of liquids because then eating solid sticks of okay. like a small chunk is okay and uh, i have covered it earlier also that if you're giving a appropriate size and appropriate uh, food to them the choking is something which is negligible until and unless definitely uh, if there is no appropriate size if you're giving an appropriate size then your child will do okay you have to trust your child with that my son is well uh, transition from uh, traditional weaning to baby led weaning if you haven't started finger foods yet then start with finger foods and if you have started finger foods 
then you can slowly and steadily start introducing your family pot to the child. So you have to, uh, so he's taking bigger bites. That means that you are giving him bigger bites. You can actually reduce the size of the bites. And how old is your baby? Because if the baby is six, seven months, even with smaller bites, they can gag and gagging is okay. They will understand how to take the food in and they will be, they will get better with eating. Yeah, she has mentioned and, yes, seven months. Yeah. So I think this is okay. And finger foods are fine. If they're soft finger foods, you cut them small pieces and give rather than giving bigger if that's how you are scared about. But uh, I think they will not, what I have seen with my kids also, if I've given them finger foods like this size, I see that they bite one and then they take because they're not able to anyways, they will not be able to take the whole, you know, say a strip, which is like this. For them to take com this completely in is a thing. And now my girl too can literally take this whole much in, but she chews it and she is done with it without any gagging. So yeah, they, they'll get better with it. He's just seven months, Himani, he'll get better. You can give ragi porridge every day in small amounts. That is not a problem. But then why uh, give just one food to your baby? You know, you can give variety. And with ragi also, you can do a lot of variety. It will introduce him to different textures also. So I would say that, uh, you know, one day ragi porridge, one day you can give ragi dosa, ragi idli, you know, things like that. He will also get used to different variety and probably like it better. So yeah, I think we I am done with all the questions. Gazal, yeah. you can ask your question now. Uh, yeah, hi, thank you so much. Uh, I wanted to ask the sabzi, jaise, like you're saying, a particular texture or something like that. But I have tried like every, like he doesn't want to see only the dal and all he used to have, but yeah. now he doesn't want to uh, like touch the dal. And if sabzi hat me lag jati, to hatao. Matlab, he doesn't want to get into this. Yeah, that phase, that phase does come, Gazal. I completely agree. I always do see with a lot of kids having that phase. But keep offering, he will eventually uh, take it. Or uh, ek or, huh. Okay. Uh, or ek or jaise pe, uh, high chair pe he was not uh, sitting like uh, we yeah. discussed. So uh, he wants to be fed by us. Jaise wo nahi khata, then he says ki mama ab kilo. Ye, ye bolte. He, he says this. So uh, uske liye I sometimes feel ki uh, like shuru se hi usne khaya hai. लेकिन ये कंटिन्यूस हो रहा है दो महीने से तीन महीने आपको देखना पड़ेगा बिकॉज कई बार क्या होता है ना कि वो कंटिन्यूस अगर हैबिट भी बन जाता है ना तो देन दैट बिकम्स द प्रॉब्लम Yes, so that yes. you need to so you need to say okay fine you know one by two one by three types so that yes. he's in that practice oh and eventually God. it is like whenever you feel like feeding you feed and the kid is having like even my daughter at times she says that you feed me at times when i'm feeding her she be like you know she'll throw my hand away because she wants to eat herself oh so all God. that happens mm -hmm. but you make it a habit yeah but that is what is becoming now <laughs> baby led weaning does not mean that you know parents don't feed at all come on yes. i mean we all enjoy doing that once that is what, uh, that but is what mean, uh, it's happening yeah okay thank baby, you yeah yeah baby led weaning is all about understanding your child's uh, food requirements and letting your child decide how much she or he wants to eat yeah. and when he or she wants to eat that is what it is the independence towards food it is that is what it is and even if you're following traditional weaning i would say follow it in a responsive feeding way yeah. so you're still on the same track so agar so, roti ke andar sabzi dal ke bhi do to he puts it out ki sabzi hatao i just want to texture badal jata hai na dekho so the kids uh, they start liking a certain texture at certain age our work is to keep offering them in a variety you make parathas out of it now what i do is i mix sabjis with atta make a paratha and 